number four a balloon contains a fixed mass of gas yeah question a explain yeah explain in terms of momentum of particles how the gas in the balloon exert a pressure okay the first yeah gas have pressure because temperature yeah because temperature and after they had a collision with others yeah and they have pressure to wall yeah uh but this is uh about mm, momentum yeah or impulse yeah impulse or change of momentum of molecule during collision uh, uh, bisa tulis uh, saya tulis bahwa uh, this uh, impulse or change of momentum during collision yeah During collision, uh, momentum of molecule, yeah, uh, of molecule to yeah. impulse, yeah, uh, or change of momentum yeah during collision uh, of the molecules and also uh, what i mentioned before hitting walls yeah hitting walls because uh, preserve yeah uh, this um, you can say uh, force to change of momentum or uh, molecule hitting wall ya yeah. causes pressure ini yang menyebabkan jadi tekanan ya yeah. uh, force ya yeah. change to momentum of molecule ya yeah. because impulse equals to force delta t if you remember uh, impulse equals to f delta t ya yeah. ft so force change of momentum because e yeah impulse equals to p2 over uh, p2 uh, minus p1 yeah change of momentum so a uh, force make yeah change momentum of molecule or molecule hitting walls yeah cause pressure yeah that's it This is a uh, main idea of of the momentum and impulse, yeah. Uh, or this is a uh, basic formula, yeah. Basic formula of uh, relationship between impulse and momentum, yeah. Impulse and momentum. That's it. Okay, we see B question explain in term of molecules why the pressure of the gas increases yeah, when the volume of the balloon decreases the temperature of gas is constant hmm. this uh, relationship between three quantities yeah, pressure volume and temperature Preserve volume and temperature. Why a uh, preserve yeah, is increases yeah, when the volume decreases. Yeah. So uh, it means after they have collision, yeah, the molecules, they have collision, uh, 
volume decrease it means uh, frequency of the molecule hitting the wall yeah increases jadi kalau semakin disempitkan maka uh, molekul ini akan menabrak dinding ya yeah. walls of the balloon itu lebih sering ya yeah. more frequently ya yeah. sebut sebagai more frequently Yeah, the molecules hitting the walls because volume decreases. Yeah, karena volumenya semakin mengecil maka semakin besar dia uh, menabrak dinding. Ya. Yeah. Yeah, greater total force caused by molecules. Ya, yeah. uh, yeah, bisa kita sebutkan ini uh, karena lebih banyak uh, tabrakan, artinya lebih besar uh, force. Ya, yeah. uh, greater or total. Ya, yeah. uh, total dari force itu. Uh, sorry. Force itu akan semakin besar ya totalnya nah, yang dihasilkan oleh molecules ya or reduce area ya because uh, volume decreases it means reduce area ya uh, or greater rate change of momentum of the particle maka semakin besar perubahan momentumnya ya. Ini aja singkatnya. Kalau semakin sempit ya semakin sering ditabrak ya, karena kecepatannya konstan. Ya. Oke, okay, that's it. Oke, okay, now uh, about calculation. Yeah. C question. The initial volume of gas is 500 cm cubic. And the pressure 1.1 times 10 power 5 pascal. The volume is reduced to 200 centimeter cubic. The temperature of the gas is constant. Calculate the new pressure. Okay, let's say this is P1 and this is uh, sorry V1. Yeah, volume initial volume and this is pressure one or initial pressure. And this is second uh, volume, and we need to find about the new pressure or P2. Yeah. Uh, let's say we have a, a formula about this. Yeah. That P1 P1. Yeah. P1 times P1 equals to P2 times P2. Yeah. This is we call it as boil uh, equation. Yeah. When you remember at grade 10, yeah, this is about boil. Boils law, yeah, hukum boils or boil equation. Multiplic multiplication by pressure and volume it is constant. Yeah. Uh, So uh, when we uh, put this number here, yeah. pressure one is 1.1 times 10 power five uh, and times to volume. Volume is 500 centimeter cubic. Yeah, we don't need to change the unit. Yeah. Uh, Because this is in same unit, centimeter cubic and also centimeter cubic, and this pressure in this Pascal, so uh, we get the pressure, the second pressure also in Pascal, yeah. Uh, because in this calculation, in this formula is about calculation and divide. Okay, uh, this P2. Uh, pressure 2 and times 
200. Nah. So, uh, kita bisa dapat P2 equals to 5 over 2 ya, times 1 over 1. Kalau kita cari uh, 2.5 times 1.1. 2.75 2.75 times 10 power 5 in Pascal ya yeah. that's it this is about boil low ya yeah, boils low yeah. oke okay. uh, I hope you understand uh, about this one ya yeah. Oke, okay, number 5K. Yeah. An electric kettle contains 600 grams of water at 20 degrees Celsius. The heater is the kettle operates at 240 volt. The specific heat capacity of water is 4,000 kg degree Celsius. The current in the heater is 12 ampere. Calculate the time taken for the temperature of water rise to 100 degrees Celsius. Okay, this is about change in energy yeah, from electricity energy to heat energy. Yeah, so it means yeah when I put this formula yeah. From the energy, they have VIP. When you remember, yeah. Then uh, heat energy is MC delta T. Yeah, MC T. Yeah, delta T. V we have 240, and I, yeah, I is current. Yeah, current is uh, 12 ampere. T is yeah that the one we need to find yeah T T small T is time yeah this is time and M is mass 600 gram we need to change into kilogram yeah because this is in kilogram yeah so it's mean equals to 0.6 yeah then times C is 4,200 and delta T is uh, from 20 to 100. So it's mean delta T is 100 minus uh, 20. Yeah, minus 20. So uh, if we calculate this number, oh my God. T is uh, 0.6 times 4,200 yeah, times 80 yeah, and divided by uh, 240. Yeah. Oh my God. Ah, uh, lagi. 0.6 yeah times we 4200 times 84 divided by 240 divided by 12 so 70 second This in 70 second. Oh, so fast, yeah. Uh, so fast. Yeah. The time uh, the kettle until 100 degrees Celsius from 20 degrees Celsius, they need only 70 second. Yeah, uh, time. 70, 70 second. Oke, okay. 
no. What about uh, question I I step one assumption you made your uh, calculation in oh this is about uh, there is no loss in energy yeah so one hundred percent yeah one hundred percent energy from electricity change into heat energy yeah so this is like no loss in energy yeah uh, no. No thermal energy loss. No thermal energy losses. Yeah. Tidak ada energi uh, yang hilang. Okay, that's it. Okay, uh, we go to the next question. Oh, this is about explain. Yeah, uh, I think uh, kalian lebih bis, apa, bisa mengungkapkan kata-kata di sini. Ya, yeah. okay, uh, maybe that's it.